microblading and micropigmentation are two popular cosmetic procedures that are used to enhance the appearance of eyebrows, but there are some key differences between them. First, let me introduce myself. My name is Carolina. I am a permanent makeup artist and vocational skills teacher in the European Union. I opened this channel to answer frequently asked questions about permanent makeup and tattoos years ago, and now I'm starting to get the same questions in English, so I'm here to help you out with all your questions. So in this video, I will tell you the two main differences between microblading and micropigmentation. But before that, it is important to know that both microblading and micropigmentation are under the PMU, Permanent Makeup Umbrella. People also call it semi-permanent makeup. The terms are used indistinctively. Also, you got to know that PMU is under dermopigmentation. That means that microblading, micropigmentation, and tattoos are causing. All three consist of introducing the pigment into the skin with a needle. Dermo from dermis skin, pigmentation from pigment that gives the color. Having that clear, then there are two main differences. Tool and depth. I almost forgot. If you feel the information I am giving out is useful, please help me by subscribing to my channel, commenting, liking, and clicking on super thanks to donate to the channel so I can continue to make these videos. Let's start talking about these two differences, the tool and the depth. Microblading is a semi-permanent technique that involves using a handheld tool called tebori. It comes from antique Japanese tattoo. Microblading does not need electricity. The tebori doesn't need to go connected to any plug. It is just like a little pin where we introduce a needle and we work on that. Micropigmentation, on the other hand, is a technique that uses a dermographer or tattooing machine to deposit the pigment under the skin. That means it will use electricity and it may be wireless, analog, digital, with a console or just a plain tattoo pen. Both microblading and micropigmentation can give you hair stroke brows, shading, hybrid, ombre, stardust or pixel. It will depend on the artist's skills to get realistic, natural, 3D looking brows. Obviously, the microblading, the manual technique, will take longer to do a shading. It will be easier and faster with a machine that will deposit faster that pigment into the skin. Nevertheless, microblading is much more faster for the hair strokes. We use various needles and it is faster than using just one single needle that uh, we put on the pen for the micropigmentation. There's this wrong preconceived idea that micropigmentation will give you heavy, ugly, sharpie like brows from like 1980, but that's not the case. The techniques have evolved so much that you can have natural, good looking eyebrows with either microblading or micropigmentation. Both treatments will give you natural looking brows, but you can also get dramatic effects or makeup effects. Depending on your needs, your skin type, one treatment will be better than the other one. It will depend on how you explain your expectations to your artist. Next main difference is depth, and it will directly affect how long it will last. By default, micropigmentation will last longer because it will be deposit the pigment deeper than microblading. The duration of the treatment will depend on how much pigment is implanted on the skin. More pigment, more color, hence it will last longer. The pigment does not disappear just like magic. Instead, the color will start to fade and that's when you will need to get a retouch or a color refreshing. Microblading hair stroke will last the least. So if you want it to last longer, add some shading. It will help with color retention and also with the definition of that shape. For example, if you are a blonde and get a very pale brown with hair strokes, 
it will last fewer than if you use a darker color and some shading. The fading will take longer on the second option. Obviously, it's easier to go to nothing from these hair strokes, which you can barely see, to one that you can see really a fine form and shape, and it will take obviously longer for this one to fade than this. Microblading typically lasts like a year before it starts fading and requiring touch-ups. But if you have an oily skin, it would last around eight months. That's what happened to me. I have an oily skin and I did my microblading the first three times and it wouldn't last more than eight months before I needed a touch-up. It didn't mean that I didn't have anything. It's just that it started fading and the thing with permanent makeup is that we get used to have a perfect shape. So you always want to have those eyebrows perfect and that's why uh, you end up going every eight months if you have an oily skin to get microblade. So after I did microblading three times, I was tired of going through all the process every eight months. So I decided to do micropigmentation with a makeup effect. So that means that my eyebrows are always perfectly shaped and designed and it will last longer. The last time I did a touch up, it was 18 months ago. So that's a pretty big difference. As I just said, micropigmentation will last longer than microblading, but it will also require touch ups every year and a half. Usually my clients come every 15 or 18 months for a touch up. Do not be afraid to get micropigmentation hair strokes. It might look a little thicker, but they will last longer. So just make sure you get the right artist to do your eyebrows. That takes me to the end. Let me know if you have any more doubts or questions about permanent makeup, either microblading or micropigmentation to make new videos on those questions. Remember to subscribe, comment, like, and donate to Super Thanks. See you next time.